Hi everybody! Hope you're having a wonderful day! I have White Dragon Horse and Horus and today we're outside in my backyard. I was really excited to show you the tree behind me because I remember how many of our friends love the tree at Mongeo and I always tried to climb it. Oh, can you hear something? There's some birds flying up high in the sky. I also hope that we can hear more birds outside as well. Maybe this one? What was that one called again? A chickadee, you're right. And do you remember the other bird from the other day? It was called a... A robin. You're right. Sometimes there's robins that fly in my yard and they go by the tree. So keep an eye out behind me when we're talking. You might see some birds in my tree and you might hear them. I have a bird feeder just up there. So they come and get lots of seed. Okay. I'm going to put White Dragon Horse away and share some things I've made for you. I made this drawing for you. Can you see what that is? There's some grass on the bottom and then a big tree, that's right. And in the tree there is a, what's that called that eggs are in? A nest, that's right, there's a nest. This is a song that my friend Dana taught me a very long time ago. And it's about one little bird and one little tree. And it goes like this. One little bird, one little tree. They were all alone but didn't want to be. So he flew far away over the sea. Oh, that was him in the tree. And brought back a friend to live in the tree. What does that bird look like? It's got an orange tummy and a gray back. Mm -hmm, like a robin. So there is one and his friend. One plus one is two. That's right. Two little birds. One little tree. They were all alone but didn't want to be, so they flew far away over the sea and brought back a friend to live in the tree. Now there are one, two, three. That's right. Three little birds, one little tree. They were all alone but didn't want to be, so they flew far away over the sea and brought back a friend to live in the tree. Can you count them now? One, two, three, four. That's right, four. Four little birds. One little tree, they were all alone but didn't want to be, so they flew far away over the sea and brought back a friend to live in the tree. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Five little birds, one little tree. They're not alone anymore. They have all their friends and they're happy to be together. Sometimes the tree behind me has more than five birds. Earlier today, there were so many birds. I'm gonna put the birds over here and show you this. Who knows what this is called? There are some letters here. You see those? N E S T. Nest. Nest. And in the nest, the nest is a home for eggs. 
So in this nest, there are how many eggs? Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eggs. Behind, somebody's cutting their grass now. Behind these eggs, there is a baby bird and we have to guess which egg has the baby bird behind it. Can you help me guess? Tap, tap, tap. Which egg is going to crack? What color first? A yellow one? Let's see behind the yellow. Oh, no baby bird there. What color next do you think? Can you see the colors that are there? Tap. Which egg is going to crack? The orange one. So many people's favorite color is orange. No baby bird there. Which one next? Tap, tap, tap. Which egg is going to crack? Red? Let's try. Is it there? No. No baby bird there. Tap, tap, tap. Which egg is going to crack? What color? Okay, let's see. Is it there? You tell me. No, no baby bird. Tap, tap, tap. Which egg is going to crack? Somebody say blue. Let's look and see. There it is. The baby bird. B I R D spells bird. You did it. Good job. Okay, my friends, I'm going to put the birds and the eggs away for today and I'm going to say goodbye. I love you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.